It is a prospective phase two trial where we analyze patients suffering from progressive mesothelioma. Uh, and how we have treated them with a new molecule, namely the, the lorbinectidine as a monotherapy. Uh, and we treated them until progression, or of course toxicity, emergence. And the objective of the trial was to generate more data about the activity of this molecule in this entity, and of course uh, about safety as well. Um, we have treated the patients uh, with intravenous uh, dose of lorbinectidine at the standard dose of 3.2 mg per square meters every three cycles and we have repeated the radiology scan every uh, two cycles, that means every six weeks. And I'm going to present the data of the primary endpoint. The primary endpoint was set at the progression-free survival at 12 weeks. That's a fixed time point in the near future, which is also clinically meaningful. and. Um, we aimed at at least 21 out of 42 patients. Um, they should have reached the primary endpoint so that we could declare the trial positive by having uh, rejected the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis for so uh, probability of PFS at 12 weeks of less than 35%, this would be equivalent to a median PFS of two months or less. And the alternative hypothesis foresaw a probability of at least 55% at 12 weeks, which would be equivalent to a median PFS of at least 3.5 months. The abstract is online and the trial met its primary endpoint. That means through that we could show that lubinectidine is active in uh, mesothelioma. And now the big question, of course, that I also ask myself is whether it's better than the standard of care. We didn't randomize the trial because, as I said, at the time when we designed the trial, we had only very scarce data about whether lubinectidine is active or not in this entity. And we wanted to, to lose so much uh, time and treat so many patients uh, without knowing anything about this, uh, about this molecule. So now we have proven that this is active, the molecule in this entity, and in my perspective, the next step would be to, um, to compare it head to head to the standard of care, which is uh, either Navelbin or Gemcitabine, and um, that, that would be my goal now.